Hello, my name is Ben. I'm the creator of Boris the Sloth. Today I'm going to talk about how to implement audio and audio sound control into your video game. And this is going to mostly cover how to play sound effects, how to play looping sound effects, those kind of things. All of the code will be in the description, so check there and you can download it from there. There's really four major components that I put on every sound, uh, every game object that has a uh, sound effect associated. So in this case, I'm going to show you my eagle enemy uh, kind of setup. So the first thing is it has an eagle script. And the eagle script actually holds the sound effects. It has the sound effects that you plan on playing linked into it. So you'll see I have eagle attack, eagle die, eagle flying. Those are all part of the eagle script. You will have your own script for that. Um, but also the main thing is this script actually controls when you play the die sound, when you play the attack sound, when you play the flying sound, those kind of things. Secondly, I have a general sound controller script. This contains the functions that call uh, specifically how to play those um, different sound effects so that you don't have to keep repeating code over and over. It also controls the player prefs so that if somebody wants to adjust the sound down for say a, a sound effect versus the music, they can and that will take in those audio sources and adjust those volumes themselves. Lastly, I have two audio sources. One is not set to loop and the other is set to loop. Uh, obviously, you can probably surmise that uh, not set to loop would be used for like an attack sound that you just want to play once and looping sounds would be for like bird flying or footsteps or those kind of things. Now, I have my general sound controller on my script and the first thing I do is I drag in the audio source once, which is play once audio source into the top field. And lastly, I for the looping sound, I drag the looping sound one here. You can see it's looping. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag that into the general sound controller field there. It doesn't look like it changed, but it actually did set the links correctly. Now let's get into the script. On the general sound controller, um, the two main things is you have these inputs for audio source, which were reflected in the inspector, audio source once, audio source loop. In start, I'm setting the audio source volume based on my player prefs. This is something that I personally set. So I have a main menu uh, item that sets a player prefs called sound effect volume. And that can be set between 0 and 1, and that basically allows you to set the music volume or the sound effect volume and adjust them relative to each other. So th what this does here is it just makes sure that the actual audio volume for that component is properly set. And then lastly, I have three functions. One plays a singular sound clip, one plays a sound looping clip, and one stops looping sound. So again, you're going to be able to call these public functions from another script and pass in the audio clip in order to actually play your sounds. Now. How that's done is on my Eagle script, if I go to here, I make a general sound controller, sound controller. Again, this script here is called general sound controller. So I'm making a instance of this audio controller. I now have the two audio clips that I'm just going to display and, and kind of showcase today. So I have a singular action sound clip, Eagle sound attack, and looping sound clip, Eagle fly sound. And then I have some Boolean variables that control some of the looping audio. In start, I'm going to get an instance of the sound controller. So I'm establishing the link to the sound controller by getting the component component for the general sound controller that is currently attached. So if I go here, you'll notice this is called general sound controller. It's getting an instance to this script. It's linking uh, a, a component in the Eagle script to this specific component here. So now, now that I'm in fixed update, fixed update runs every uh, cycle, and this is just checking for the looping sound. So the main thing here is I set uh, the ability such that when you start looping, you just say play fly sound, uh, sorry, play flying audio equals true, and then it enters this if statement. It will play the sound. So this is actually what starts playing the sound here, sound controller dot play sound loop and then you pass in the eagle fly sound. Eagle fly sound is something you've already established up here. Eagle attack sound, eagle fly sound. 
and then started playing equals true. And the reason why I do this is because I don't want it to keep playing the looping sound every clock cycle. I want it to check that it's playing. I want it to start it playing. And then whenever I want it to stop it playing, I'm actually gonna set it to false. Uh, and that will call the sound controller stop loop sound. So if that makes sense. If you were to keep it, if you were not to have that loop, that logic, what it would do is it would kind of stutter. It would play the first, you know, 50 milliseconds of the song and it would keep stuttering because it keeps trying to like reset the play sound loop. Um, so when you wanna stop, just to be like super clear, if you want to stop the looping sound, you would play, you set play fly audio to false, and you would also put start playing to false because you need to reset this start playing here as well. And then I've kind of gotten rid of a lot of the logic here because it was like really specific to a, a specific enemy. It's kind of like cluttered up the script. Um, but imagine that you have a circumstance where the eagle actually touches your player and you, you check for that. The way you would get the eagle to play the attack sound is just here, sound controller.play sound, and then you pass in the eagle attack sound clip. And so that's pretty much it. That's how you set up um, a general sound controller. And this is actually how you access that controller and pass in sounds to it. So I hope that's helpful.